Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your Weebly site's buttons. So this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I'll post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Now, when it comes to customizing uh, Weebly, bu uh, Weebly buttons on your, uh, on your site, things can get pretty limited and uh, really confusing uh, very fast. Uh, so um, when it comes to buttons, you have a choice between four buttons. And for this particular theme, these are the four buttons that um, are available. Um, and what I've done is I've actually tried to create a visual um, understanding of the buttons for you. Um, so here's the here's four buttons. And um, the top two are the two small buttons. The bottom two are the two large buttons. The two buttons on the left are the normal buttons. And the two buttons on the right are referred to as the highlight buttons. Now, um, so when you want to change the styling of these buttons, what do you want to, what do you do? Um, so what you do is you go to themes or theme at the top, uh, change fonts, and under general, there's a, a little button tab here and you can customize the buttons to some extent you can change the font family um, the letter spacing of the text in the buttons but you're you're kind of limited so when you're not really getting what you want from this area of the Weebly editor what do you do you go all right well I need to mess around with code so you go so you, while you're while you're in theme you go to the bottom left and click on edit HTML CSS and you find the button codes, the CSS button codes. There they are. And what the heck is going on here? All right, so there's some identification here, small structure and regular style, large structure and regular style, um, highlighted styles. It's just really confusing. It's almost like um, trying to decipher hieroglyphics. So forget that. Don't worry about that. Um, what I've actually done is I've um, I've taken those codes and I've um, I've rewritten them to be clear and um, easy to understand um, for styling purposes. Um, and then I even took it a step further and I broke um, Wheatley's CSS code button codes down into f uh, four specific. Uh, CSS codes so you can actually create four unique buttons on your Weebly site and I'll show you here. So here's an example. Um, the, this is the site before and this is the site after the um, the coding has been applied. So these are four unique buttons. Okay, so um, things may look bleak and uh, rough during the tutorial but stay with me I guarantee you we'll get through it so let's get started all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, step one reset your buttons so go to your Weebly site click on a theme at the top click on change fonts at the left under general click on buttons and then you want to click reset but before you do that um, maybe take a screenshot of this so you know the current styling of your buttons if you'd like to refer uh, revert back to them. So we're going to click reset, and ours are already reset. Yours may also already be reset as well. Step two: Open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. All right. So while still in themes, or theme, I always call it themes. I don't know why. I just go back twice. Uh, on the bottom left, click on Edit HTML forward slash CSS, and then I'll open. Weebly's HTML CSS editor for us. Step three, save CSS file. Okay, um, I already um, have, I've already saved this CSS file, but you should do it. Um, the reason being because if you make these changes to the CSS file and you, d uh, you decide you don't like them, um, you can easily revert back to the original CSS file. So all you have to do to save it is just uh, right click, select all, Right click again, copy it, and then just open like a text editor program, like Notepad um, on your desktop, um, and paste it in there, save it. Um, and I would recommend for reference purposes to call the file 
um, the name of your site underscore CSS underscore and then the date that you're um, doing this tutorial. All right. So step four, locate uh, button CSS codes. All right. So back in the Weebly editor here at the top, um, click the little search icon and I'm going to type buttons and oops. And this will usually um, give us the results, um, allow us to find the, uh, the button codes for, I think, all Weebly themes because they all have um, the word buttons as far as like an introductory text. So, um, but if you can't, um, if typing buttons in the search doesn't yield the, um, the button codes, then you will have to um, look for them manually. Um, they start with dot um, w site button, but be careful because some themes not only have um, just regular CSS button codes, but CSS button codes specific to like the banner image or another part like the footer. So we want the initial buttons, and the initial buttons um, are the universal buttons, um, and they're usually, um, as I mentioned before, um, identified by a, uh, a very a faded out gray buttons text. Step five, delete button codes. All right. So what you're going to do um, is you're going to select all the CS coding, uh, the CSS coding that's provided in the written tutorial here. Copy it. Okay, make sure it's all copy. Okay. And then you're going to select all of the uh, button CSS uh, code codes in your CSS file. Delete them. I know. <laughs> um, don't be nervous. And uh, and paste the uh, CSS codes that you copied from the written tutorial. Paste them in. Make sure everything looks good. Okay. And uh, sometimes these red buttons appear, but just delete them. All right, step six, custom, uh, sorry, customize button codes. All right, so um, let me give you, if you don't need an explanation for what these codes mean, um, then you're done. Um, enjoy styling your new buttons. But for the, um, the rest of you hang around, I'm going to explain to you in a very short and concise manner um, what um what each of these codes does, and it may look confusing, but really it's just incredibly simple. Let me just explain it to you. So, all right. So the first thing is that um, each Weebly theme comes with four buttons, okay? I'm reading from right here. <laughs> the CSS codes uh, above are labeled number one, number two, number three, number four to reflect this, okay? So as you can see here, here's the first buttons code, here's the second buttons code, here's the third buttons code, and here's the fourth buttons code. Okay, and I will show you, here's the first button, second button, third button, and fourth button. Okay. Um, each button CSS code above has two subsequent uh, codes, um, the active styling and the hover styling. So the active styling is what it is right here. So the active styling of button number one right here is a black background and white text, but the hover styling is a white background and black text. And that is reflected uh, right here. So you can see here's an example. Here's the active, and here's the hover style. And that applies for button one, two, three, and four. Simple as that. That's uh, that's all you need to do for uh, buttons one, two, three, and four. Uh, okay. So once you're done uh, the four buttons, you can move on to the blogs button styling, and that is right here. Same thing applies as far as active and hover styling. Um, as the previous four buttons. Okay, and once you're done styling the blog button, then you can move on to the final uh, styling phase, and that is the the universal button styling uh, codes. And so pretty much any uh, buttons on your site that are not the four um, call to action buttons right here, such as the contact uh, elements submit button, um, the the dot wsa button code um, any styling you put in this code will apply to buttons such as that okay 
So every other button is covered by this universal button styling code here. And lastly, um, there is one code I added in, and this code is specifically to address, it's a long story, but um, a lot of Wheelie's older themes still use, how do I say this? So a lot of uh, the reason, the, I think the reason that the Wheelie's button, CSS button codes are very confusing is because um, a lot of the uh, the older themes are still active and those codes still apply to them as well. So they've kind of like meshed the older and newer theme codes together. But this um, this code right here, just um, it just allows uh, the, the codes above to work correctly for uh, all themes. So... Don't touch that code. <laughs> okay. And, and that's it, guys. All right. So, um, and to make things simple for even simpler for you, um, as you can see right here, the, uh, the buttons have changed uh, since I've added the CSS code. And just to make things simpler, you can see right here button one, right? There's the active and the hover. Uh, has a black background and white text. And when you hover over it, it has a white background and black text, like so. Okay, that's button number one. That's it. Simple. Button number two, which is right here on the bottom. Button number two, as you can see, has a red background, green text. And the hover state has a green background and uh, red text. Okay? And that's that. And then so on and so forth uh, for button three and button four. So... All right, guys, so that is how you customize your Weebly Sites buttons. I hope you found this tutorial to be useful, and thank you for watching.